Hello, how are you? Today, inshallah, we will start with lesson 15.2, recombinant DNA. From the beginning, you need to know what we mean by DNA. DNA is the genetic material, deoxyribonucleic acid, that is found in the nucleus. And the recombinant DNA is a new technology used to change the DNA. Let's start with our objectives for today. My objective today explain how scientists manipulate the DNA, how the scientists manipulate the DNA in the beginning, then inshallah we will complete with the recombinant DNA. Let's take a look and let's think about it. Suppose you have an electronic game, okay? You want to change this electronic game and you know that the electronic games or programs in general have a code and you want to change the code to manipulate the game. So what you will do to change the game okay you will use or you will change whatever you want on the code similarly that's happened to the genes our genes compose of codes of dna codes and this dna codes we will change it by genetic engineering okay try to think about this topic and then complete with us okay our first idea about the recombinant dna which is copying the DNA, the first process that we need to do. Without copying the DNA, we can't manipulate the DNA. So in the beginning, we need to copy the DNA. So how the scientists copy the DNA of the living organisms? How we can copy the DNA? Do you know? Have you ever heard this step? Have you ever heard with the word PCR? Have you ever heard with the polymerase chain reaction? Here right now, we have a coronavirus. And whenever you hear corona, you hear the, vo the word PCR. So the PCR is abbreviated for polymerase chain reaction, which is the process that we can copy the DNA by it, okay? The process of polymerase chain reaction, or the PCR, it depends on the temperature. We will play with the temperature in a specific, with the specific equipment and specific component so the dna will be copied okay so in the beginning we will heat the dna sample until it will denaturate or separate then we will cool the dna to specific temperature until the primer point n and then we will start the reaction of adding a new nucleotide by dna polymerase which start the dna copying or the copying process of the dna and then we have multiple copies of DNA after each cycle finished. So polymerase chain reaction is a cycles. Cycles depends on temperature. And this temperature, in the beginning, if we heat up, it will, the DNA will denaturate or separate. Then we will cool until the annealing process, which is the RNA primer binding in and then the extension process, which is the multiplication of the DNA or replication of the DNA. This is the process of copying DNA. So right now, the genetic engineering, okay, can transfer certain genes. We can transfer certain genes, specific genes, from one organism to another. And we can make or we can take specific gene from the bacteria and insert it in another organism designing new living things and they the scientists can design new living things from these uh, uh, genes okay let's take a look on the dna copying it's really easy to extract the dna from the tissues or from the cells and a sample or an as examples of samples we can take the blood or any tissue to take the dna from it or extract the dna from it then this is the dna the extracted DNA, we can use a cutters or enzyme supplicers like restriction enzymes here, enzyme A, enzyme B, to cleave or to cut the DNA in smaller fragments. And then these smaller fragments or a mixture of fragments will be separated by a technique known as gel electrophoresis. The gel electrophoresis will separate the DNA fragments according to the size the smaller will migrate faster than the larger fragment. Make sure you understand this topic. Smaller migrate faster, okay? So it will be away from the origin, okay? This is how the scientists work with the DNA. This 
is the process again. This is where the DNA cuts it, okay? This site where the DNA must be cut is called recognition sequence. What do you mean by recognition sequence? Recognition sequence here is a specific sequence for a specific restriction enzyme that will cut always at the sequence. As you can see, after the G, if we read like this, and after the G, if we read like this. This is what we call it recognition site, okay? The DNA will cut at this location to form something like this, which is called sticky end. You have to memorize this word. What do you mean by sticky end? This is the sticky end, where the DNA cut the, uh, sorry, where the restriction enzyme cut the DNA. After the DNA must be cut like this, then it will be separated on the gel electrophoresis. The gel electrophoresis is made up of gel agarose, agarose gel, okay, which have specific pore size. And then the DNA will migrate from the bottom to the top. Okay, from the bottom to the top, from where we apply the mixture of the DNA fragment to the other side of the gel. This is where the DNA migrates. If we apply how the DNA will migrate here, it will migrate by the power source. Here, we, are, we will apply the negative charge and here the positive charge and the DNA must migrate from the negative to positive. Do you know? Why the DNA migrate from the negative to the positive? Anyone knows? Yes. The DNA have negative charge. So it will migrate to the positive because the positive will attract the DNA and the final result is like this. Okay? This is how we will use the DNA and cut the DNA and at the same time separate the DNA by a technique known as gel electrophoresis. The other things that the scientists use is finding genes. Do you know what you mean by finding genes? If we want to find specific gene for a specific protein, we have to follow with these steps, okay? In the beginning, Douglas Fraser wanted to find a specific gene that will eliminate a green fluorescence in the jellyfish. Specific protein that is found in the jellyfish that will give the fish the specific color after the fluorescence under the UV. They call it GFB or green fluorescence protein. This natural protein is found in the jellyfish. It will absorb the UV or absorb the energy from the light and make parts of the jellyfish glow, as you can see here in the, in the picture. Brasher thought that GFP from the jellyfish could be linked to a protein when it, is, it was being made in the cell, a bit like attaching to a light bulb to that molecule. So he thinks that, or he thought that he can use this protein in another way. So he started the experiment by this point. The, he started from the amino acids that make the protein, the GFP protein, and then he tried to find a probable genetic code for the amino acid. And as you know, there is many probable genetic code for specific amino acids, okay, or a specific protein. And he will go back to find complementary base sequence for all, sorry, basis sequences for all probable genetic code, and then he used attraction method to an mRNA. Then he found or he uh, secreted a genetic library, thousands of different mRNA sequences already for this step. Then separated fragment on the gel. After he make a complementary sequence, he separated the fragment on the gel. And one of the fragments bound tightly to the mRNA, specifically for the GFP protein. And this technique is called sudden plotting, okay? You have to know what we mean by sudden plotting and what is the technique is used here in the finding the gene. In the beginning, as you know, the central dogma of the genes from DNA to RNA to protein. But here in this criteria or in this step, he go back from the protein 
he found the amino acid for the protein, then he go to propofol amino acid sequences or genetic code, then complementary for this amino acid sequences or for the genetic code of the amino acid sequence, and then he tried to find mRNA that will fit this sequence, and then he separated the mRNA and the sequence on the gel and used the fragment that will show up on the gel to attach it to specifically one mRNA to find the gene that is really specific for this protein, which we call it southern plotting. Okay? Again, the gel electrophoresis separates DNA fragment produced by restriction enzyme. This is the gel electrophoresis. Then he bonds of the gels are immobilized by plotting on to nitrocellulose paper. We apply a nitrocellulose paper and filtered paper on the solutions. Then the, he apply props and then uh, auto radioactive until we have specific props will eliminate it. Will Im eliminate. Today it's quicker for the scientists to look at the libraries or the databases to find a specific gene for a specific sequence or for a specific protein, okay? It's more easier than using sudden plotting by searching on the database to find a specific sequence, okay? Now, let's go again to the polymerase chain reaction. Again, what's the polymerase chain reaction? It's specific cycles by heating and cooling up the DNA until forming a new copies of DNA. So once biologists find the genes, a technique known as a polymerase chain reaction allow them to make many copies. So it's about copying the DNA. So again, let's start again. This is a piece of the DNA fragment or a DNA fragment. We want to copy the DNA fragment. The first step is heating here. Then after heating the DNA, the, we will cool the DNA until the RNA primer will bind here. Once the RNA primer to the two sequences, then the uh, uh, DNA polymerase will attach to complete the DNA sequence. And then now we have two copies of the DNA. By each cycle, we will have multiple copies until we, re we reach a huge amount of the DNA at the end of the polymerase chain reaction. Till now, thank you and have a nice day.